Hi YouTube. Our last video, we made it on this little Chinese built model M12B engine. And I told you on our next one that we would belt this guy up to a generator and put him to work. I ran about two or three tanks of fuel through this so far. and um, I've noticed that there's an excessive amount of end play in the main bearings. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but we'll get a indicator on here so we can just see how far out it really is. And I'm sorry for the delay in the videos. I usually try to get at least one or two out every week, but I've been busy this week and uh, give me a second and I'll show you what we've got going on here. So what we've done is side this wall. It's out in the out building. We put some shelves up in it. And uh, some of these models you guys have seen, some of them maybe not. We have our lathe to work on. We have our table here. Hopefully this helps. We can create better videos for you guys and hopefully everything turns out better. But I haven't forgot about the channel. I've just been busy doing all of this this week. So, all right, let's get back to this little model. And we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got our model here, and we'll set this indicator up. I don't know if you guys will be able to read the indicator or not, but we'll get it adjusted. To, we can just see what we've got for play in here. Now we're pretty close to zero. And these things don't work that great if you don't have them attached to steel because they are a magnetic base. But we have about seven thousandths down and oh, about fourteen thousandths up, thirteen. You guys can see that needle bouncing all over, but yeah, we're gonna we'll just tear this fella all apart see what we've got for bearings and hopefully we can get it all back together and make it run again but we'll get this out of the road and since the last video when we first ran it I did uh, silver solder this on here and silver soldered it onto the muffler so at least we have a good solid exhaust now that doesn't fall off so, alright I'll get the engine off the base and then we'll start opening it up Okay, well we've got it loose from our base. Our ignition passes through here. So let's get our bottom plate off down here. Right here, we'll get these out. We'll see what we've got underneath it. I'm guessing that underneath of this cover is where our ignition is and possibly our sump. We'll get these bolts out. I'll bring you guys back. We'll take it off together. Okay, well, we've got all our four bolts off here. Let's take this off. Yeah, there's our ignition pickup. And uh, there's oil here, but no gasket. Yes. That's what you expect. It's China. All right. Well, we've got our engine free of the base. We'll get him out of the road. We'll look in the bottom here. Looks like this is just a plug that they put in for when they bore the block. So, well, let's tear the head off of it. Start. We'll take our valve cover off. We'll lose that screw. Okay. Well, let's get our fuel pipe here off. Looks like we can leave our exhaust bolted. And, and we'll have to take our fuel 
tank mounting brackets off here. But we'll leave our carburetor attached to our cylinder head and our exhaust attached to the cylinder head. We'll leave our rockers attached. Looks like these uh, push rods, yeah, they'll pass through. So we'll get this apart. I'll bring you back. Okay, so we've got our fuel tank off. We did have to remove the fuel tank mounting bracket and then the band screws that held it. We were able to leave the carburetor on. Now we'll take our four head bolts off. This in here wasn't even tight. Let's see what this in this. Uh, this is loose also. All right. We'll lift our cylinder head off the block here. There. Put him back out of the way. We'll keep our push rods, exhaust with exhaust, and intake with intake. There. Uh, we're closer. I don't know if you guys can. No, it's a hard time for me to hold it and show at the same time. And it may be okay, but I just. I'd rather be safe than sorry. These little models aren't cheap. So if we can address the issue before it fails, we're going to. All right, let's pull our flywheel off here. And we'll have to be mindful of where this was set at because well, they, they cut a flat spot in the shaft for us. That's nice. Because right here is our magnet for our inductive pickup. So that'll help with setting the timing. And I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not. Put the oil film right here by moving the crank. Come on, focus. It does have excessive play in it. Let's get this little cover off here we'll see what's underneath it this, this is all new to me also I've not torn this thing apart all we've done is run it and uh, if you remember the first one I wasn't terribly impressed with the quality of it but it did seem to run good so I'll try to get my hands out of your way there's not much exciting to watch about taking screws out of something but Our screws out. Let's see if this wants to come loose. Let's see if there's anything underneath of it, even. Well, okay, so we got a scribe here. We'll put this down in here. That way we don't booger our threads up. And it does turn. So, I got a fingernail underneath of it. Let's start walking this out. Our timing for our cam is on this side. So, by opening this up, at least it'll give us an idea on what we're going to expect on this side because if you look, it's bolted in about the same way. There it is. We have just little little ball bearings. And oh, I can feel the slop in them. Let's 
So there's our play at our crankshaft. It probably would have been okay, but like I said, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, all right. Well, guys, I'm going to have to cut this one short because I know I don't have these little bearings anywhere around here. So I'll, I'll get him knocked out of there, which might be an exciting task in itself because there's no sleeve. But we'll get these bearings knocked out. I'll order another set, order a good set, and uh, I'll get this side here apart. And yeah, well, we'll go at it from there. Don't forget when we get to 150 subscribers that uh, Solar Model 1 engine by PM Research will be sent out to someone randomly. Um, thank you guys all very much for subscribing. Um, I, I, like I said before, I enjoyed doing this. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. Um, let me know, drop a comment underneath what you think of our new workspace and uh, let me know about the lighting anything that I can do to upgrade or help out because I mean, we're all in this together. So I appreciate it guys. Thank you very much. But up inside of here, there's a helical gear and another helical gear. And so, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that I'll get the rest of this thing apart and yep. There's no timing mark, so this thing ought to be a hoot to try to retime. So, but we'll make it run. I promise, guys. Hey, once again, thanks. We'll see you.